All right. Well, we'll do it in English this week. Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> Episode 16 of the Poor Choices Show. I am your host, Chris, co-host David. And to JFK, Mel B, Carmelo Anthony, Danny Elfman, and King Charles II of England, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Now let's make some poor choices. I was like, where's he go with that? There's some <laughs> random ass people. They all have birthdays. I guess even, everybody has a birthday. It even smells like it. Okay. Like what? I did, I'll be honest with you. I don't even know what you said it was. I wasn't listening. Oh, I didn't. Oh, what does it smell like? Well, you'll see. <laughs> or I'll hear. Yeah. So I got a news headline. Mm hmm. It says, Last night in what most fans thought would be a barn burner, the Kansas City Chiefs routed the Baltimore Ravens with a final score of 38 to 13. Quarterback Patrick Mahomes, who evidently doesn't believe in Super Bowl hangovers, threw for over 400 yards and three touchdowns, while tight end Travis Kelsey looked like he was hosting his own errors tour with over 100 receiving yards and a pair of touchdowns en route to victory. Were they playing Madden? Oh, no, I think that's September's headline. Mm. My bad. I'm going to disagree with that statement. <laughs> Oops. Although it's in Kansas City. I'm not too happy about that, but that's okay. We, I knew we were playing there, and at some point, just week one kind of sucks. Yeah. Well, they but lost the week one last year, right? Yeah, well, to the Lions. They're always a slow starter, you know? Yeah. So, we'll see. I mean, it's a good week one game. I'm happy about it. And then I just saw today we're playing on Christmas again on Netflix. Yeah, that's some... We'll get interesting. Into I, got, I got stuff on that. Yeah. And then you guys were the second game announced because it's yep. Tom Brady's first broadcast on Fox, which yep. I don't know if I want to hear him speak, to be honest. I don't. I, I heard him heard him speak during the roast and like maybe as like a what do you think, Tom? Like that third wheel in the booth, like but not yeah. one of the main guys. I'm sure he'll try to take over. Uh well do you wanna give us your beer, what you got? A rating? Yeah. I'll go ahead and give it to you. I got a this week we got a blueberry wheat ale by thirteen hundred mile brewing. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's got to be out of Florida. We're the only ones that do that. Yeah, out of Lakeland, Florida. <laughs> so I love me some blueberry. Let's give her a taste. Yeah, let's see. Does it look blue? Uh, no. I don't nope. think they okay. usually do. That's good. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if it's quite up there with the, uh, like the sea dog. And I don't know what that other one is that I've had. But Dingleberry? A, no, 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 no. That was... Oh, okay. I don't even remember what that... I don't think... Was that blueberry? I don't remember. Mm, I don't know. I think it was. I think it was. Okay. But that was also a sour. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll give it a... Give it an eight. Okay. I'll drink pretty, a bunch of them, but... Pretty solid. Yeah. Go with that. We'll give it an eight. All right, cool. All right, well, I went a little off the rails. Um, I have from... Distill Brewery out of Normal, Illinois. Normal, Illinois? Normal, Illinois. Uh, I have a dill pickle sour beer. Ooh, okay. Made with Sucker Punch pickle brine. Got some, like, old school boxing dude on it. Interesting. So when I said, oh, it even smells like it, like, it smells like mm. pickle juice, which okay. I'm a fan of, so we'll see. Whoa. Ooh. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's that's pickle beer for sure. Okay. It's super sour. Is it um it's like sour pickle juice. Is that like bad pickle juice? No, it's kind of just like you I don't know about you, but when I finish off a jar or something that's pickled, I kinda give a little I'm not drinking the whole bottle, but I'll sip a little bit of that vinegar afterwards. Right. Okay. So it's kind of like that, like you're just kind of sipping out of the pickle jar kind of taste. Okay. Uh, I like it, but it's definitely a sipper. Like I can't, you know, little sip. Give her a sip. Ooh, yeah, it's pungent. Um, <laughs> <laughs> ooh, in a good way. Like I, li I like it. I'm going to give it a, 
I'm gonna give it a seven eight five. Seven eight five. Seven eight five. Yeah. Okay. That's better than the uh cleaner you had last week, the pine saw. Yeah. Yeah. A lot a lot better. There's not much that could be I could have had a Coors Light and given it a better rating than that. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> oh Jesus. So pickle beer. I, okay. I just it piqued my interest. I'm a big vinegar fan. I think that's yeah. why I like sour so much, is you get that little bit of a uh, tang. Right. In it's your mouth. In glass. Yeah. It's good. If you're into pickles, solid. I like it. All right. I like it. Good, good, good. Yeah, it's good. It's tasty. Good, good, good. I kind of want to, I'm really excited to do my next round of uh, video yeah, game. Yeah, we'll, we'll get people. there. We'll get there. I figure we'll right. just stay in the realm of NFL for a little while. NFL since, realm, uh, huh? Since we you sort of led me there before we took our tag. <laughs> so okay, just, uh, NFL realm. Not that it'll be much news, I guess, by the time this comes out, but just a, a few things. As you mentioned, the, the Cowboys will open up with a loss to the Browns week one. Um, Aaron you really Rogers. think a loss, huh? Yeah, you know, it's, I give up. I'm just <clears throat> fucking done with it. Okay. Uh, Aaron Rodgers will be making his Mulligan debut with the Jets against the 49ers. Yep, saw that. Jason Kelsey will be a co-host on Monday Night Countdown, I heard today. I'm not mad at that. So, I like Jason. Good for him. Uh, I saw this season will cost fans $850 to watch every game, and that'll be 73 Jeez. bucks a month with YouTube TV, the extra 350 for Sunday Ticket, 899 for Prime Video, 6 bucks for Peacock, eleven for ESPN, and six ninety nine for Netflix. Total cost being eight fifty five eighty six. Um, does that include NFL Network for the overseas games? Because uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I know they do certain overseas yeah. games are NFL exclusive, NFL dot com exclusive. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe maybe this came out before those were. In, I don't know. Yeah, but so yeah, still for, almost a grand. Yeah, just, just to those, watch. For those, we got From the home. Packers, Eagles, week one in Brazil, the mm-hmm. Jets, Vikings, week five in London, mm-hmm. the Jags, Bears, week six in London, mm-hmm. and we got the Giants, Panthers, week 10 in Germany. I'm sure, yeah. I feel like there's probably going to be more. I think that's just all that's announced now. So, and then we have, so that was the Netflix thing was apparently there's two games streaming on Netflix on Christmas Day. Christmas Day, yep. And they signed, I guess, a contract. So there's going to be, at least one game on Netflix for the next two years like after that. Two or three years or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Which is, I get it, but come on now. And let's just see, that choose, would be... Choose one service and just fucking stick with it. It's a Wednesday Christmas, so we'll have a Wednesday Wednesday football. Well, okay. I guess last year we had it on Tuesday, so it's not that yeah different. Yeah, that whole week's just kind of whatever. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> It's kind of sad that you got to spend all this money to watch it from home. It is. Where it used to be, oh, it's one o'clock. I can go to CBS or Fox and, right. there's a game, and there's a game on. Now, if you want, you know, for us, we're out of state and out of market for most of our team's games. Yeah, we kind of got to go that extra little step and mile to either pay for it or find it somehow. But right. like if I was living at home, I'd be like, man, now I got to get Netflix. Now I got to get Amazon. Now I got to get not not the greatest, not the greatest. No. And maybe if like like if YouTube TV had like couple dollar add ons to add each of those services, so you could watch the game. But to to have to pay you know eight, ten, fifteen bucks a month extra, yeah, that, like that's that's bullshit. And because it's not like you're gonna get it just for the game. Like you have to sign the contract to get it. Uh, it's fucking yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. Well, I was looking at um, I was I don't even remember what I was doing. I was looking at something and. I came across, they were like naming some stadiums and I was like, I don't even know who plays there. So I want to kind of test your NFL stadium knowledge to be like, do you know? Because I thought I knew, like they were talking about them. I was like, yeah, I got, I know NFL stadiums. They started naming stadiums. I was like, no idea. Hmm. And they're in the US, right? Yeah. So like like, uh, Tottenham bullshit. No. So strictly NFL's home in the US stadiums. Okay. So there's what, 30 or 31? 30. 30. 30. I think 30. Because two two teams or four yeah. teams share yeah. a stadium. Um, okay. So what if I said state farm stadium? It's so broad. It's like, it could be anybody. And they, and they change so damn often. <laughs> they change these, so these much. Banks and insurance companies. So, so much. 
State Farm Stadium? Um, that's a spectacular question. I'll give you a hint. The team is the same color as State Farm. Main color. Is it the Chiefs? No, it's Arrowhead. Yeah, but it's something. Oh, no, no, no. That's it's Geha. It's like Geha Stadium at Arrowhead. At Arrowhead. Yeah. Yeah. Um, who are the other fucking red teams. <laughs> that's their primary color. Yeah. All right. Let's let's go through here. The Commanders didn't change, did they? Um, still they State did. Farm, or not State Farm. They're still they're, FedEx? They're not FedEx, no. Okay. But I guess they're not State Farm either. No, they're Commander's Field <laughs> right now. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Um, but no, red is definitely their primary. I think they just came out with new unis this, this year, too. Okay. Which we've talked about. Like, hey, did you see this team's new uniforms? It's not the like, Texans, is it? Yeah, I don't like them. No. Uh-uh. I'd say their main color is blue. I'm just trying to think of the other red primary teams. Um, there's one in Florida. Was, yeah, the Bucks. But you know that's not it. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to go through. All right, let's go with the Falcons. No. Mm-mm. And I don't even, yeah. They're a pretty forgetful team, to be honest. So I'm not surprised you're not getting it. It's not them. Are they AFC or NFC? They are. Oh, God damn it. They are NFC. NFC. All right. Uh, nobody in the north. Nobody in the east. Surprise! You're struggling this hard. Who's in the south? Nobody in the <laughs> south, so it's got to be the west. <laughs> who, who the fuck do the Niners play? That's the only good team in that division. Yeah, I said it's a forgetful team, so yeah. it's not a good. It's not a good team. That's the right division. You're there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you got Seahawks. Yeah. Rams. Yeah. And this team. <laughs> <laughs> who the fuck is it? <sighs> I think at one point you changed your Call of Duty gamer tag to this guy as quarterback. Like he's their quarterback and you put your username as his name. Because he was known for playing a lot of COD and everyone's like, oh, that's why he's losing games because he can't play. He's playing Call of Duty all night. Yeah, who the fuck did I change it to? It's Kyle Rittenhouse now, so I don't, nah. remember. Oh, <laughs> I don't okay. remember what it was. Well, you're close with the... Uh, fuck, the who K- was it? The, the KYL. Oh, the yeah. Same. God, ah. son of a bitch. <laughs> Damn, that was a struggle. Yeah, oh, that, that was, I forgot they even existed. You know what I'm saying? Forgettable team. So, so State Farm is Arizona. Is that new? That's got to be. Because they were, I don't even know what they were. Um, Weren't they something like Phoenix Stadium or something along those lines? Or? Probably. About, I don't know. But I'll get back on track here before I forget okay. every other NFL team. Uh, let's go with, let's get you one that pre- you probably know, Highmark Stadium. Mm, no. Um, ba, 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 ba. Highmark Stadium at Blank Park. I fucking I hate when they do that because we just refer to it as yeah. Blank Park. <clears throat> um, this one I think is not going to be around much longer. I think they're building a new one right across the street. Chicago? Not Chicago. It is somewhere cold. Really Detroit? cold. Mm-mm. No, that's Ford Field. Minnesota? No, that's Mm-mm. Bank of America. I think it is. Um, Highmark. Mm-hmm. Highmark mm-hmm. at Blank Park. The blank, uh, think of a bunch of trees, like a farmer has a, all right. You said trees and I thought forest and then you said farmer and that. Yeah. Like if a farmer had a bunch of like apple trees, that's his apple tree. (laughs) It's his, uh, his orchard that's out there. So Highmark Stadium at Orchard Park. It doesn't help. Oh shit. Okay. The Seahawks. No, somewhere cold, 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 cold. Probably gets the most snow in the whole U.S. besides like Alaska. Buffalo. Buffalo, yeah, that's Buffalo. And what um, is it? That What's was name? a Highmark Stadium. Hmm. Okay. Highmark and Orchard Park. How about, how about, uh, ooh, eh. you know MetLife? That's easy, right? Yeah. Okay. NRG. The Giants. For, that's Giants slash Jets, yeah. I forgot the Cardinals were a team, so I figured we, I'd let people know that I do, in fact, know where that is. <laughs> NRG Stadium. NRG. Hmm. I feel like I should know this one. You've already guessed them. Yeah, from well, that's most teams. The preview, the from the first question, you guessed this team. I want to say Houston, but I think it is. Reliant. It is, is Houston. It? Uh-huh. They used to be Reliant Stadium. That could be. I don't see Reliant on the list, so it could okay. be. Let's give you a couple more. Let's see, okay. just a couple redeem, more here. Redeem myself. How about Paycor Stadium? <laughs> <laughs> now I still call this stadium something else because it's what is. Pre- What's the first letter of what you used to call it? A P. I don't know if that helps. P as in Paycor. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is a it is a P though. Okay. Um, 
three th- three words. Well, the third word stadium, blank blank stadium. Core. I, I have no idea. Got uh, waste anybody's time. Paul Brown Stadium. Would that ring a bell? Mm, okay. That's the Bengal um, Stadium. That's that's Cincinnati. Yeah. Let's do your last one as Acreshore Stadium. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is this? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh Jesus! What's the weather like there? Um, what time of year? It's a Four Seasons kind of place. Their baseball team plays at PNC Park. If that helps, nope. Okay, their Four. baseball, hockey, and football team all have the same colors. Baseball, hockey, and f- football. Mm-hmm. Steelers. Yeah, there you go. Which we That's would not always Heinz anymore? It's not Heinz, it's Acreshore Stadium. What the fuck? Formerly known as Heinz Field. Well fuck yeah. fuck every part of all of that. Yep. Um even Denver is now Empower Field at Mile High. Empower? Empower. E M P O W E R Empower what is Field. That? Um A bank. I don't know. Something, yeah, it looks yeah. some kind of bank or insurance or hmm. I wouldn't have even gotten, um, and we've been there several times, is Jacksonville. Do you know the name of that stadium? Mm, probably once you say it. It's Everbank Stadium. Yeah. You'd think mm-hmm. I know. I think I still get emails like once a week from them. And like the Superdome in New Orleans is the Caesars Superdome. Yep. Wouldn't have got that. Right. Um, Arrowhead, it just says Arrowhead. It's it's, it's definitely Geha or is something. It? Yeah. I remember seeing uh, that like last year, the year before, and I was like, get the fuck. We know that. We know that. Bullshit. Right. Know that. Yeah, I think that was the more the Lumen, Lumen Field. Lumen? Who was Lumen? Lumen. Yeah, who was Lumen? L U M E N. Lumen Field. Uh, I don't know. That is Seattle. Okay. Wild. I think the rest of these you would get, but those were like the main, like, yeah. not in a million years would I guess that yeah. hmm. Steelers play at Accra Shore Stadium. Interesting. Yeah, I was Isn't convinced it? that was Heinz still. Yep, it's it still is. I think it's one of those things that we're so ingrained with it, just like calling the Redskins the Redskins. Yeah, well, that's more like a, a spiteful, like, I'm not fucking changing that. <laughs> well, each year, now that they switch to 17 games, I still have to tell myself, like, when I'm talking about, like, a full season's record, I have to be like, okay, that plus one. So they were 10 and 7, got it. Okay. Yeah, well, I'm apparently so used they're to talking about up. switching to 18 now. Oh, great. <laughs> and dropping another preseason, which makes sense, sort of. Uh, it's another because- week for someone to get hurt it's another week for someone to get hurt but that wouldn't play in preseason there's there's no like uneven home and away games Mm -hmm. so no one's at a disadvantage there and then i will except for the jaguars playing twice in london yeah that's that's, fuck all that well that's fine for them um but i was listening to the kelsey's podcast i think a couple weeks ago and jason had made a good point about how if they extend to 18 games that would the Super Bowl would fall on President's Day weekend, and then people would get Monday off for President's Day. So schedule-wise, calendar-wise, it would be great. So there'd be no more February Super Bowl. It'd be end of January, is what you're saying. No, it'd be it'd be pushed back a week further in February. Oh, is President's Day February? Yeah, I think so. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> but... I have, a, I have a little NFL game for you, but before I get into that, I had a, a thought the other day about what they should do with the NFL salary cap, like a way to redo it. And I want to get your thoughts. Can you redo it if you've already gone this far? I mean, slowly, well, I guess. I think so. So my thought was that I think each position should have a max amount, like reserved for the best of that position for that year that a player signs a contract. So the reason I thought of this is I read some headline the other day that said Antoine Winfield. I just now, saw that is like the highest paid safety of all like time, and eighty I was something like, million. Yeah, yeah. Like good for him, but he's probably not top fifty safeties of all time. Yeah, so granted, if you that's the way it, it out works, of context, but, you make it sound like oh, he's the best to right. ever be a safety, right? So my thought was that say so take take baseline for example, say Patrick Mahomes, best quarterback in the league. In 2020, he signed a 10-year, $450 million deal, so $45 million a year. So that would be the cap. And then each year, that would increase incrementally. So 2020, say the cap's 45. 2021, say it's 47. You know, however inflation, bullshit, whatnot works. And then, so that would be your cap. And then everybody else who becomes a free agent and wants to sign. So say Mahomes signed 45 a year in 2020. So say the next quarterback is up 
for re-signing in 2021, the cap would say, whatever they set it at, call it 47. So whoever signs him would have to determine amongst the the best quarterbacks in the league, like where do they rank? So I see what you're going for. Like, you know, if they're considered the 15th, maybe they get like 30 mil a year. If they're but the worst, maybe the... they get like 10 mil a year. But I yeah. think like you shouldn't be able to set new highs every year. I think whatever the high is should increase every year and whoever's a free agent should be signed accordingly, if that makes sense. Yeah, but then you'd have to have teams in cahoots with each other saying, well, no, my well, guy's better than your guy. No, he's not. Yes, he is. No, he's not. Yes, he is. Yada, yada. Or are you just going strictly based on stats? So you would not necessarily. That's a that's another thought I had. But this would be like, say, say like it goes down a million with every position. So say 45 is the highest for the best quarterback. And then right. the worst quarterback would be whatever. So it, it wouldn't be like my dude's better than your dude. It would be like. I'm going to sign this guy for 40 million because I think he's the fifth best in the league where another team could be like, well, I think he's the third best. So I'll give him 43. Like the, how you sign him would be appropriate. Yeah, but what if that player's to, like, yeah, but I like where I'm at. I'm coming out my rookie year. They want me as their franchise guy, but this other team says they can pay me more. Why, you know, but I still want to be here. Right. Then he would go. So it would, it would basically just the amount of money you make. So he would, would have to take less money because he wants to stay in a town. Because yeah. that team thinks that, that de- he's worth yeah. less. Exactly. Oof. So Sounds if you want sketchy. money, I mean, that's that's no different from how it is now. You go to a worse place because they want to pay you more. But it's just, it's like all this, like, you know, you sign the, the highest contract for a linebacker ever. The next day, another linebacker just signed one higher. Like, it's just a bidding war where if you set a cap on it, you actually get signed yeah. for, like, what you're deemed to be worth by these teams. Well, at this point, they're really... If they were to make a change, even if it's not exactly what you're saying, they're just digging a hole deeper and deeper. Because each, like you said, each person that signs is just like it's just the next highest and the next, the next highest. highest, and they're, the they're not highest. even necessarily better. It's just this guy got this, this guy got this. So I think if you set that cap and then just have it slowly increase incrementally every year, mm-hmm. you'll at least know what you're expected. And then yeah, yeah my, they my gotta other do something was like strictly performance based. So like every player would get a low base number. And then based you get, on you get paid stats, based off your Madden rating. <laughs> no, you can just like based on your stats. So say like for a quarterback, if you if you throw a thousand yards that season, like that's a million dollars for that year. If you throw two thousand, that's five million that year. If you throw three thousand, that's seven and a half million that okay. year. You throw ten four, touchdowns just, is a million, yeah. and so you so have on, like so all forth. these. So you could potentially make 50 mil this year. Right. But if you play like shit, the team's like, not like, well, fuck, we just paid this guy 40 million this year and he didn't do a damn thing. Or he he got hurt and sat on the bench all year. So instead of just having those incentives in the contract, just make that idea better. Contract incentive based. Yeah. I like that idea a lot better. Anyway, that's, I had a thought the other day after I read that Antoine Winfield shit and I was like, he's great, but like, like you said, there's 50 dudes ahead of him. Yeah. Yeah. Palomalu, Ed Reed. I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, all right. So, my game I have for you. Yeah. Uh, I want you to blindly rank these touchdown celebrations. Okay. Okay. I really hope there's one on there, but all right. Go ahead. Are these ones that have actually been used or they're just yeah. in general? Yep, they're, okay. they're, yeah. Okay. I, I tried to steer away from the very known ones. Mm-hmm. So, the first one I have is Randy Moss mooning the crowd. That's really good. That's a really good one because he does it. He does like a little shimmy while he yeah. does it too. Uh, honestly, I'm going to, cause it was at Lambeau against Green Bay. So yeah. in that moment, it's a really highly ranked, but in general, I'd probably put it middle of the road, probably a nice three. Cause it's, okay. it's, it's, it's a good one, but it's also on that disrespectful realm where, yeah. And you it's know, a rivalry. It's, yeah. 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 It's a, it's a little, um, unsportsmanlike as, as they like to say. Okay. So we're at three, put it at three. Okay. The next one is Odell Beckham's Ray Lewis dance. Oh, five. <laughs> If it's Odell Beckham's Ray Lewis dance, five. Yeah. <laughs> Specifically that, absolutely not. All right, that's fair. The next one's going to be Joe Horn's cell phone. That's what I wanted. That's number one. Easy. Right. Okay. Easy. Okay. That's what I was hoping for. So when, so I was, good. when I was trying to find some to do, uh, I came across a video of, I guess, Michael Thomas reenacting that celebration. Yeah. You don't remember that? I don't remember that. Yeah. He got flagged for it. Yeah, I bet. Uh-huh. All right, the next one is the Vikings team playing Leapfrog. Um, yeah, it's kind of, you could do better. I'll put it at four. At four. Okay, so yeah. we, got, we got two left. Yeah, is it T.O.? 
Uh, so <laughs> it's funny. See, there's a couple I can think of. <laughs> well, it's funny because the last thing I have written down is To slash Chad. I didn't. I didn't pick a player. I didn't pick a celebration. So being being that we're we're left with one, I'll let you pick is between, between those two. Which one you want to put there? What's but what is it? Is it a sharpie or popcorn? Which one? Well, are we? it could be it could be any To one or any Chad one. It could be Chad golfing, proposing. It could be yeah, giving the ball CPR. It could be To running to the star. It could be To sharpie. It could be To popcorn. Whatever like one popcorn. you want to take from either of them, go ahead and put it there. Because the popcorn one sparked some great get your popcorn ready stuff. I mean that that just okay. you know I'm gonna go with that To number two. Yeah. Get your popcorn ready. Get your popcorn ready. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cool. I like it. Not mad. Yeah, that, that Joe Horn. I remember when it happened. It was it was a Monday night game, I think. Uh, yeah. Because I was definitely I watching it, and yeah. it was like the rest were like, uh, "Do we? <laughs> yeah. What's he doing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What are we? Okay. All right. Well, do you want to move in? Do you have some ask Reddit? Um, I have it pulled up, but I wanted to kind of like I've been doing each week is just just wing it, and see ding something it. that peaks my eye and something that we could probably uh. Okay. Both give our two cents on, maybe three cents. Oh, that's a good one. I like this one. I mean, we're both in our mid thirties at this point. Um, so asking Reddit, what annoys you the most about getting older? What's the most annoying, the most annoying thing about getting older? Okay. What's the answer? Well, want some answers first before yeah, ours? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we've got having to have upstairs ibuprofen and downstairs ibuprofen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's really good. That's really good. Uh, hurting for no reason. Uh, let's see. Watching young people make the same stupid mistakes I did, but swearing to me that the world is entirely different. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, let's see. Responsibilities. That's pretty broad. Um, coming to grips with the life goals that have passed you by. That's a good one. Yeah. Injuring yourself by doing the most mundane things like rolling over in bed the wrong way. <laughs> yep. Getting out of bed, sitting down, bending over. Mm-hmm. Lowered metabolism. I hear you there. Mm. Planning for retirement, sl- setting up a will. We're not quite there yet. Yeah. Uh, getting hair in stupid places while losing hair on top of your head. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Um, hearing your music on classic rock stations. Yeah, that's Ooh. a good one. That's okay. a good one. I can definitely relate to the like having to like fall out in the morning before I can like get up and like, like just that first get up to go to the bathroom is like, everything is, it's, yeah. you know, it's stiff and you're kind of like that cracked and then oh, I'm going to crack that. And you start, the older we get, I think you could probably attest is just making noises when you go to like do something, to grab something, for a decade, just bend over. <laughs> I, got, I keep saying, I, I'm afraid one of these days I'm going to bend over and I'm not going to be able to get back up. <laughs> I like to call them dad noises. You're just like grunting and moaning yeah. for like, for no reason. Like I yep. just go to pick something up and I'm like, Ugh. yeah, Ugh. Mm. yeah, yeah. Okay. I think that's, that's probably what I have to go with. It's just the, uh, I mean, to keep it on the lighter side is probably the, the body just, yeah. is, you know, growing up, you're not thinking about anything like that. You're right. just living your, you're living your best life. Yeah. I think I relate most with the, the responsibilities thing. Like, like, does the grass really have to be mowed every week? <laughs> like, I just did the dishes an hour ago, and the sink's still fucking... Yeah, so that's, yeah. Not, I, that's, I guess, more... Well, kind of like, coincide. Like, growing up and getting old. I say, yeah. I, I have not been able to fucking wake up for, like, months. Like, in the morning, it's been such a fucking... Sh- like, I've never really been... See, I'm the opposite. Is like, I've been having, like, going to bed. Yeah. It's well, like... Think- uh, same, and which I think is probably contributing to the not being right. able to get up. Right, because you didn't go to bed till 3 a.m. Yeah. or whatever it is. Yeah. It's like, I just, for the fucking life of me. And it, because it used to be like, it's just tough to wake up, but then I'm up and I'm good. But it's like, like my eyes are heavy all day and I'm like, oh, all I want to do is go to sleep. And then I try to go to sleep and I can't. It's just. And by the time you get home, you're like, I'm yeah. going to sleep as soon as I get home. And you get home, you're like, oh, I'm awake. Yeah. I, yeah. It's just like the physical. See, I'm good with I'm good with the early stuff. I'm kind of I'm good on it. I just I can't like I push myself through it, but it's like I just can't fucking no nah, like, physically. Doing it. Oh no, I'm fine with it. Mm-hmm. I think it's like even on a day off, like by six thirty, I've at least gotten out of bed to get some water or start coffee or yeah. Well, it's like I'll be same, but like my body wants to go to bed. 
Oh yeah, I can understand. Like I'm that. up and good to go, and my, it's like my eyes are like, eh, let's let's go back. Well, this like, one, this one I back. just read made me laugh. <laughs> it was I get older, they stay the same age. <laughs> it's like oh, Rose, God, I must have wrote that one. Let's say him, him or Matthew McConaughey. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. A, a little uh, hit you where it hurts. Thanks. Thanks for the reminder. Well, this is a good one. Not for me so much. I'm pretty good with it. But my tolerance for getting my food order wrong is exponentially shortening with each passing year. Yeah. But I'm I'm not that. I'm like, all right, whatever. Well, okay. So unless it's totally blatantly like if we're at a sit down restaurant, if I said, can I get it medium? And there's like maybe, well, I would remind medium rare. Say I get it medium rare and maybe there's just barely any pink in it. I'll eat it. I don't care. Yeah. So I... Yeah, I'm I'm the least. I, I've sent one steak back my entire life. Yeah, if it's blatantly, obviously, horrifically, yeah, not even close. Then okay, I get it. But if it's little stuff, whatever. Yeah, yeah, I'm not. I'll I'll eat whatever they give me. I I took that as because you know we're we're sitting at nine months pregnant right now. We don't really mm. get out much. We door dash. Mm-hmm. And my thought was when that comes and it's wrong, that's when I'm like my top. I'm like I gotta fucking order it again. Wait another fucking hour and a half for it to get here. So is it something like totally missing or made incorrectly or any of the above? Uh, typically it's missing. Okay. But because if, if it's just the wrong thing, uh, same way, I'll eat it. But if yeah. like, if they forget yeah. something, I'm like, really? not only did they forget it, but you had to pay that DoorDash upcharge for this $10 thing. That's now $20. And right. And then they're like, oh, it. we'll credit you back. You can reorder, but they don't credit your tip back. So you got to pay another however many dollars a tip again. That's right. It's fucking. Mm. <laughs> I can understand that. Yeah. I can understand. Hi, everyone. I just wanted to take a second to ask that you all hit those like and subscribe buttons. Or if you're an audio listener, go ahead and give the guys five stars. Thanks for listening. Now back to the Poor Choices show. All right. Well, mine is a little less upsetting, I guess. But okay. A little more philosophical? Eh, no, not philosophical. Uh, leaning more towards like the mind blowing, but not. It's more just like a, I'll just get into it. Okay. So my that sounds Reddit, like a good idea. My ask Reddit is what's a historical fact that would shock most people to find out? And some of them, maybe all of them, I was pretty shocked to find out. So the, the first one is the year 536 was deemed the worst year to be alive. Volcanic eruptions caused prolonged dark sky for up to 18 months, caused a mini ice age, crop failures, blah, blah, blah. Also, the name Tiffany has been in use since the 1600s. Don't know how those two things that's, are related, but he felt the need to include both. <laughs> not super shocking. I think there's older names than Tiffany, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. The next one is, it took about four times longer to get from copper swords to steel swords than it took from steel swords to a- atomic bombs. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. That's a little scary. Kind of all of a sudden was like, oh. Yeah. 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 I mean, because they went through all their stuff. Yeah, Bronze Age was a long time before they got to the Iron Age. That was yeah. a long ass time. Yeah. All right, the next one is the Second Congo War, also known as Africa's World War, was the deadliest conflict since World War II with over 5 million people killed. Most Damn. people have never heard of it despite ending in 2003. Yeah, I haven't. Also, that's a odd name, Africa's World War, but it was just Africa fighting. Well, it was Africa's World War, but it was technically called the Second Congo War. I don't know. Okay. Okay. The next one is sharks are older than the rings on Saturn. Like the species. Yeah. Like sharks themselves have been around longer than. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. The next one is we are closer to the time of the T-Rex than the T-Rex is to the time of the Stegosaurus. Jesus. Which mostly blew my mind because I thought they were the same time. I was going to say, I guess one was. Wow. Yeah. Like I didn't think one was closer to. I, I just thought they were like homies. Well, how long ago were dinosaurs? Like 150 million or something like that? That's, that's, I guess, a, you, that's a you to the, question. To the first set, I guess, since there's different. Yeah. Okay, yeah, because there's the Jurassic and there's the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's the got. only park I know of. That's the, that's the right. If John Hammond's not there, then yeah. I don't know. I don't know it. The next one is that George <laughs> Washington never even knew dinosaurs existed. The first dinosaur fossil was discovered in 1824, which was 25 years after he died. I just, I thought that was pretty crazy. Yeah. And I got two more. Okay. There were more planes destroyed in World War II than are currently in use worldwide. Wow. And last, but probably most, Nintendo was founded in 1889. 
What were they like the ball in the cup game or something? Like what were they doing? I the think AK? I saw they 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 did like trading cards or some kind of cards or something. I don't know what they really? were of or what was on them, but yeah. In Japan, I'm assuming. Yeah. I, I didn't believe that one. I had to look it up. And sure enough. 1889. Yeah. I thought it was like 1989. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say 1986 <laughs> sounds about right. Uh, yeah. 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 Mm. I don't know any off the top of my head that I can come up with, but this is I mean, one that the, yeah. um, was how many people Genghis Khan was responsible f- for their deaths. And it's almost 40 million people in his lifetime. Hmm. Yeah, it's crazy. Okay. So scholars estimate he may have killed a full three-fourths of the modern-day Iran's population during his war with the Khorizmid Empire. Okay. 40 mil, up to 40 mil. You know, there's no exact now, figure. How many by his hands? Probably not. Um, no, I'm sure he killed tons of people, but he himself was responsible for up to 40 mil. Hmm. And then another there's one. another one about his kids. Have you seen that? No. What were you going to say? Another uh, another one I saw that I didn't write down was uh, apparently Hitler wasn't German. Is uh, Austrian. Okay. Well, you're his <laughs> nephew, so you would know better than me. <laughs> I almost said Polish. No, he's Austrian. That's me. I'm Polish. Uh, um, and it's, he's thought to have hundreds of children. Okay. I thought that was going to be a better number than that. <laughs> Around five hundred, five hundred wives. Impressive. I thought it was going to be like, oh, he had like ten thousand kids or something. That's a you would have to have sex <clears throat> every day, all day. You said what? With 10, different partners, ten thousand. <laughs> yeah, that's so, uh, ten thousand, and they'd all have to actually conceive. Yeah, he probably killed more people than there were doctors remaining. So anyway, he went, oh shit. Yeah, I'm just going <laughs> to birth my children. Mm-hmm. Okay, I would say the only thing I've got is uh. That thing we talked about a while back with the uh, the number of ways to shuffle a deck of cards. There's more, oh, yeah. more ways than there are atoms on Earth. I don't think that's a historical fact, though. I think that's just like a. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and say this because <laughs> well, I think one of the things I mentioned was that if someone had started shuffling a deck of cards from like the beginning <clears throat> of existence, mm-hmm. it still wouldn't be oh, one millionth yeah. of the way there. Okay, all right. I'm gonna say it is. Yeah, we'll go with that. That's all I got. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> All right, kids, we're going to be uh, learning history today. Um, first thing, how many different variations can you shuffle a deck of cards? Turn to page 12 of your textbooks, please. I don't think those little blue and red calculators <laughs> can fit all those digits on right. the, that little right. screen. Oh, that's funny. So if you were walking down the street and a random guy in a suit ran up to you and said, come with me if you want to live, what would you do? How does he say it? Does he say it like that? Hey, man, come with me like, if you want to like, live. Like or does he say it like, like he's running like, and like stops me. at you and is like, come with me if you want to live? Oh, like what do you do? I think instinctively I wouldn't. I'd just be like, what's this guy doing? Yeah. Even if he's like in a suit. Yeah. I think my first my first reaction would be I'd look around like, is anyone else running or does anyone else see anything happening? I'd be like, right, but maybe he's there for you, like just you. Like he traveled back in time to save my life. Yeah, that, or maybe he's just part of some covert this or that. He knows there's knows an assassination attempt to, on yeah. my life. I don't think I would initially. I think I'd be like, who the fuck's this jerk off? Like, get out of here, you jabroni. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I probably wouldn't. And, that, and then what? Would you just, like, if he's just I'd standing just, there? I'd just whistle and keep walking. Doo, 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 doo. Like, so if he kept, if he was very persistent, I'd, I'd, I guess eventually I'd start questioning, like, do I need to call the police? Is something wrong? Like, why do I need to follow you before I actually do this? Like, yeah, are you well, leading me to my death? In like, this what do you... scenario, it seems like he's like, we're in a hurry. Like, you got to, you got like 30 seconds to come with me or you're going to be no I, longer. I you're just going on, you're taking your chances. Yeah, I probably wouldn't do it. Do okay. you want me to say I would for the sake of what you have? No, I just, I, okay. I didn't know what I would do. It's very I like, would. like, why? I mean, we could try it. Let's like, if go he's out in to, a, if he's in a suit. Yeah, just like go. go yeah, that'd be good content. Just run up to people and be like, come with me if you want to live. And yeah, yeah. But we have to like already be seconds. like, like Ty's kind of undone. We're kind of like sweaty already and like out of breath and like it's got to sell it, you know? Well, one of the worst parts about getting old is that's like 300 feet. And then, yeah, we'll be good. We'll just yeah. walk up to him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, um, okay, well, so we're not we're not going? Uh, no, I'm not going. No. Okay. Sorry, dude. Like, sorry to that dude. Not yeah. yeah well, <laughs> I think he's there for you. I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't think you have to apologize to him. 
Um, well, you're talking about getting old. The one thing I wanted to ask you about was some current um, slang terms and to see if you are up to snuff with uh, today's generation's slang. Um, uh, I'd probably do better with Australia and yeah. fucking UK. I think you'll get a few. I have the top 10 list is what, of 2024 American slang words is what I got for you. I think you're, I think you're going to get most of them. Oh, but what do, you, what do you remember from our days as slang words? Like the bomb was big, right? Yeah. Like the bomb or it was up. Yeah. Um, uh, what else? Tight. Tight was big. Like that's tight. tight. Yeah. For real. Oh, you for real? Hell no. Nah. Yeah. Okay. I, All right. Well, uh, yeah. Okay. I'm not All confident. Right. I, I think it'd be fine. How about bougie? Like fancy. Yeah, exactly. How about bussin'? Really good. Really good. How about drip? fresh yeah that's i guess that's another outfit, slang though I guess. yeah yeah so like your your outfit looks like, like you got nice good drip. drip i'd be mm-hmm. like nice thing you got going on uh how about extra too much mm-hmm. <laughs> which is literally the definition <laughs> yep um how about rent free you're not paying like i i i know it but that's the best way like I don't know how so, else to describe it. Like I got here, your enemies um, live in your head, rent free. Yeah, yeah, like, exactly. They don't have to do anything to be exactly. there. Exactly. Yeah. So you're obsessed, or they dominate your your thoughts and yeah. that kind of thing. Yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, salty. It's easy. Uh, like jealous ish, upset, annoyed. Yeah. yeah, they got to overreact. Or yeah. He got salty. Yeah. Uh, shook. I, I only know how to define it by shook. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like shocked. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Vibe check. How are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Making sure they're having a good time. Uh, woke. W- uh, aware. Yeah. Like socially conscious. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let me get those. So that was the top 10. I think you got just about all of them. Those are, that's like a list from like 2017, I feel like. <laughs> well, I was on a different site the other day. Um, it was like a weareteachers.com kind of thing because it was like, Learn the slang of your students. And there was some stuff on there. Let me pull that one up. Okay, here we go. So, you know, like cap, right? That's easy. Yeah, like lying. Um, about riz. Uh, like game. Yeah, like your charisma. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. I guess Let's game is also slang. That is, I guess, yeah. Um, glow up. It's like, uh, like drip, kind of. Yeah, I got physical or emotional makeover, a positive transformation. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, we got drip. I heard the term bro glow today. I guess <clears> that's <throat> when dudes go tanning. Bro glow. <laughs> well, if the internet wanted to work, I could pull up the rest of these. Slay? Fuck. Uh, no, it's like you're doing a good job. Like you slayed that. I'm also right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. That one's too easy. No. Some... How about T? If someone's like, what's the T, sis? Uh, the, the drama. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What's the gossip? What's the, yeah. <clears throat> let's see. Uh, yeet. That's easy. We know yeet. <laughs> <laughs> Been yeeting since 2012. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, how about poggers? Sound like another British one. That's really excited. Poggers. Okay. Okay. Pick me, girl. That's slang. Yeah, a girl who constantly wants sympathy. Oh, like a pick me girl, not pick me. Oh yeah, yeah, girl. like a pick me. Uh, okay. mm-hmm. I was like a picturing <laughs> some little girl on kickball field waiting to be picked. How about Delulu? Delulu. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's an uh, abbreviation of you're delusional. Oh, you're Delulu. Delu- uh, I was thinking duh was the. <laughs> um, a couple more here. Find some weird ones. So a lot of these are like, you know, fam and all that. Yeah. How about Chuggy? Chuggy? Yeah, C-H-E-U-G-Y. Chuggy? Chiggy? Chuggy? No. It's like another British one. Uh, it's a term used by Gen Z to describe the habits and trends of a millennial. <laughs> Generational tournaments. Roman Empire? It's just what we talk about. What the fuck? How'd you know that? <laughs> because you're the one that said people say it all the time. The Roman Empire? Yeah. Talk about the, like, how often do you think about the fall of the Roman oh, Empire? Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Was I right? right. That's, it's just. Yeah, it's like, what are you always talking about? Mm, okay. How about granola? Uh, it's those little bars I have for breakfast. <laughs> There's someone who's into the outdoors, like a granola guy. <laughs> <laughs> you can't use the word in its definition. 
That's funny. Oh, Jesus. I don't like oh, what's he doing? Uh, he's up a mountain. He's such a granola. Fucking neighbor's a granola guy. Like, what the fuck does that even mean? <laughs> All right. So we're back for round two of the fictional character tournament. Let's do it. You ready? Yeah, I kind of forgot who's it, who's still alive, but let's do it. That's good. That's good. Because I didn't want you uh, thinking about this next round. So, All right. For round two of the fictional character tournament, we have Spyro versus Sonic. I'm going to go Sonic the Hedgehog on that. All right. We have Lara Croft versus Link. Definitely Link. Oh, yeah. Motherfucker got a sword, dude. He got more than a sword. He got a horse, too. It does. It does. <laughs> Do you know the horse's he's got name? A, he's, he's got a glider. Ooh, I don't. What's its name? It's Epona. Oh, I didn't do that. I well, did. I didn't, but I did. Yeah. 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 I gotcha. I gotcha. All right. The next one is Jason Bourne versus Mario. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. It's a Jason Bourne. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I think I got to go Mario, to be honest. Yeah? Yeah. Well, motherfucker took down Bowser. Yeah. I'm going to go Mario. All right, the next one is Max Payne versus Godzilla. Oh, definitely Godzilla. Godzilla. Oh, yeah. yeah He's yeah. Godzilla. He's gone. He'll do one little boop. You're gone. <laughs> That'd be the Mario sound. Wah! Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, the next one is Megatron versus Harry Potter. Harry. All right. That was quick. A lot quicker than turn, I thought it would be. <laughs> turn Megatron into a transforming, like, teacup. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot steam at you. Like, hot, hot water. and flick. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. All right, the okay. next one is... Donkey Kong versus James Bond. Ooh. I feel like Bond would have the upper hand. Yeah, but I feel like all he's got is his little, like, PP7. And Donkey Kong's fast, and I feel like he could eat a couple bullets by the time he runs full speed at James Bond. It's James Bond, though. He's going to he's gonna have some kind of something that, that Q gave him at, at headquarters that's like, oh, here's a, a monkey bazooka or something. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Or here's a, yeah, exactly. Uh-huh. Okay. This banana is actually a grenade, so when he peels it, <laughs> he blows up. Well, Donkey Kong's got the grenades already, then, because he has he does. the bananas. He's got he the barrels. And the oh, barrels. And, and, mm-hmm. mm. I'm going Bond. I'm going James. Okay. Da-na-na. I feel like I got to keep some humans. I almost said real people, but <laughs> <laughs> humans. Right, right, right. Yeah, this is James Bond, not Pierce Brosnan. Right, right. <laughs> All right, the next one is Spock versus Mewtwo. Oh, Mewtwo. It's going to be hard to beat Mewtwo. Yeah. <laughs> and the last one for round two is Ash Ketchum versus the Powerpuff Girls. But it's Ash with his full arsenal, right, of Pokemon? Correct. Yeah, I'm going Ash. Sorry, girls. All right. Oh, I do have one more. Oh, okay. It's me and you versus the eSports kids. Me and you. Fuck those kids. Fuck them. We outie. 5,000. Like Andre. Oh, that's 3,000. Andre plus 2,000. <laughs> <laughs> four four Andres and, and seven outcasts ago. The esports kids still sucked. Fuck them. Bitches. Peace. What's homeboy say when he pops in the side? Whoopsies. Whoopsies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. I forgot. I've, I'll have to add that in one of them. If I like, don't think you had a good pick, I'll do that. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. <laughs>